All right, so this is my haul from Nokus Fest. You guys can see I definitely went around to most of the tables and picked up a lot of stuff. And by picked up, I mean I paid for a lot of stuff. This year, I put up a sign and said I was open to trades, and only one person took me up on it, which is seriously a bummer. But honestly, most of the artists I talked to did not really, A, a lot of them didn't seem interested that much in talking to their customers. Uh, and B, a lot of them didn't really seem interested in engaging with other artists. I, I noticed that a lot of them uh, never really got around and talked to people, which is, it can be hard at shows because you want to be there to represent your work and talk about your work. But I don't understand people who don't really want to talk about their work and they don't really want to engage customers and they don't want to get up and talk to other artists. It's like, why? Like, what, what are you, why are you here? You're not going to make enough money here to justify camping your table. So that's, that's always kind of disappointing when other artists don't get up and talk to people. And I know for myself it's really hard because I'm really shy. So I'm going to assume it's, it's that, you know, because being behind the tables kind of provides some safety. But I ended up dropping a lot of money on other artists, and it was kind of disappointing not to see them get up and around and talking to other people. But hopefully, um, maybe me pointing that out, maybe some of them will reconsider that stance and will try to make it a point to get up and get around. I know every time I talk about it, I think about doing it for myself and really upping my own game and really making sure I get up and I buy from other people and I talk to other people and I engage people in the indie comic community because that's what it needs to be as a community and we've definitely fallen away from it being a community we've allowed I think personally I think we've like let social networks like Instagram where engagement isn't really a priority we've kind of allowed that to uh, push us away from engaging each other and talking to each other and then we get incredibly lonely and we get incredibly shy and it becomes harder to engage other artists as you um sort of isolate yourself and I'm speaking from personal experience and it can be hard to um, make yourself get up and make yourself go talk to other people and I know there's a lot of fear of rejection and a lot of imposter syndrome going around where people are afraid that other artists are going to be rude to them and I can't speak I've had other artists be incredibly rude to me when I'm just buying stuff from them so I can't I can't guarantee that that's not going to happen, but I have also had some really wonderful experiences with other artists, and I can promise that if you come talk to me, I'll never be rude to you. I mean, you'd really have to push my buttons for me to be rude to you. And um, I had a friend come by. Uh, he didn't know I was going to be there, but it was, and we were talking about um, kind of feeling like you don't belong. And I just want to assure you guys that for most artists, again, I can't speak for every artist, but for most artists, if you're coming and you're coming to like maybe buy, maybe not, no, no pressure, no push, no guarantees. Um, if you're coming to buy, maybe buy, maybe not, and you're honestly and earnestly looking at their work and you're honestly and earnestly engaging them in, and asking them questions and you're interested in what they do, that's more than enough for most artists. That's a lot of us work alone, we work from home, we don't get to see many people, and the friends we have are other artists who don't necessarily engage us about what we do. So having these opportunities where people will come by and talk to you, even if they're not there to necessarily buy and show actual interest in your work, um, that's more than enough. So please... Don't be shy about talking to artists about what they're doing and about their techniques and about their materials. It's really just a rude artist. Like, that's considered bad form if they're rude to you by other artists. So they're kind of the outlier. They're kind of out behaving outside of the norm. But I'm going to end up shipping these books back to myself since I'm already kind of overweight for Southwest. And I will enjoy them later. So thank you guys so much for checking out my haul. I hope you guys saw some cool stuff. I tried to not flip through everything since I don't want to ruin any of the surprise or any of the stories, but I did try to flip through the book so that you could see the creator's names. In case you see something that looks good, you can hopefully Google it and maybe find it online. I picked up a lot of Inktober collections because I'm really into Inktober collections, I guess. Um, so I think I will 
enjoy looking at those. And I hope maybe this haul video inspires other artists to get up and talk to each other and engage each other and maybe try to make more friends and also to be more friendly when other artists come to the table. Um, I mean, we had um, badges that said exhibitor on it and I usually check for that when uh, people come around and I usually do try to engage people about that if I can see their badge and I'll ask where they're sitting and I'll be like, oh yeah, I'll come by and then I do go by. So it, even saying, well, I didn't know they were an artist isn't really a great excuse at shows like Noka's Fest where pretty much only the exhibitors have those badges. So let's work on this together, guys. And I hope you guys saw something that struck your fancy in this video and that you're going to look it up.